Hey gang, did you know that Florida is full of farms for all sorts of agricultural products? The area south of Miami has several large fruit farms specializing in exotic tropical fruits, many of which are not found in the U.S. So today we're going to drive down and tour one of the better known farms in Homestead, Florida, which is open to the public as a park. This is Gar, and together with my wife, Ann, we want to help you build your influence online so you can have the option to quit the 9 to 5 like we did and spend more time traveling. So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing by hitting the button below. Today we're going to be traveling down to Fruit and Spice Park, a 37 acre park in Homestead, Florida, which is the only tropical botanical garden of its time of its kind in the US. The park's tropical climate cannot be found anywhere else in the continental US and hosts over 500 varieties of fruit, vegetables, spices, and nuts. So if you're a fruit lover like we are, this should be an exciting tour. The only downside here is that you can't actually buy any fruit there. You can only pick it up and eat it once it's dropped off the trees. Also, the tour fee is $10 per person, which includes a guided tour three times a day. I think it's at uh, 11, 1.30, and 3.30 p.m. each day, but you might want to check on that. However, we're not going to be taking the guided tour because we want to just roam around the park and uh, just go through it at our own pace. Anyway, we're getting hungry, so let's travel down there together and enjoy some exotic fruit. But hold on for just a second because at the end of this video, uh, I'm going to let you know how to download not one, but two free gifts, so be sure to stay on till the end. entrance is in an actual old schoolhouse it was built in 1906. Cool, huh? Let's look inside. So that's the tasting bar right there, right? So this is about a 40 minute walk through this beautiful preserve here with all these trees and you can eat the droppings from the tree. Here's a mango tree. So if anything drops, you're allowed to eat it. So this is a small papaya, this is a papaya tree. Waiting till we find one big enough for this big papaya that just fell off the tree. Now we get to eat it. Okay, this is, uh, you see this one? Uh-huh. This is um, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit? This is a dragon fruit tree? Mm-hmm. Where's the dragon fruit? It's not yet, oh, not ready. So the way that it works here is it's a 40 minute walk through these nice forests, or I'm sorry, nice farm of fruit trees and you only get to eat what's on the ground. So, so far we haven't been able to see any fruit. Right over here is the banana and unfortunately nothing's on the ground, although I see some bananas right there at the back. Some people pick them, look. I know, right. Yeah. Bulbing.
Oh, uh, here we go. They have this for you. This is the small one. Yeah. That's not bananas. Yes. These are. We think pie. Yeah, there's like I was reading. There's a thousand different types of bananas. I'm just not ready. I'll do it. So you can see Mike over there eating from that banana tree. I got one of these. They're so filling. You just have like one or two bananas. It's like eating, I don't know, five or six of the regular bananas. They're very dense and not so sweet, but really yummy. Again, what type of banana? Not sure of. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Wait, do we eat good? skin? Do we eat skin too? Oh, inside? Here, Tom, take a bite. Inside or just like? Yeah, just take a bite like that on the outside. Oh my God. How about this? You can eat the skin. Okay. So it melts you. Mmm. Let me take a bite. Oh take, my. Take a picture of me taking a bite. Mm. Very good, huh? Let me see. Mm, I never eat this side. Mm. Oh God, white sapote. Oh, it's incredible. This is so, this is like custard. It just melts in your mouth. It's incredible. Look, yeah, <laughs> I just falls apart. It is so good. It might be the best food I ever had in my life. I have to see. Oh, I'll bring that home. Yeah, bring it back home. It's white sapote. It's a white sapote tree. Yes, this is a white sapote. This is a hog plum tree. It's the same stuff that we had at the sampling table when we came in, it's excellent. There's Anne with one. Are you gonna eat it? No. Why? Eat it. Take a bite of it. Oh, you don't? Well, here, I'll take a bite. Is it clean? Okay. Here I go. I'm gonna take a bite. I took one in the uh, room. It was uh, it was red. This one's orange. I hope it's right. We'll see. Oh, excellent. Very sweet. It's like that inside. Take another bite. Break the seed inside. Very sweet. It's um, not textured like an orange, but there's a little orangey flavor in there. Very sweet. You want a bite? You want no. more? Okay. I think they taste like a tomato. Really? No. 1% tomato. Uh, we've got an orangey taste. I bet there's a lot of vitamin C in there. This is from a tamarind tree. A little sour. <laughs> but sweet, just like eh? yes, it's most this one's mostly sour, but tamarind's usually sweet and sour. But it's delicious. Okay, I'll find This stuff's supposed to be really good for cleaning out your liver. This is a guava tree. They're not yet ripe or big enough to fall off the tree yet. This is what they look like maybe a few months before they're ready to be eaten. My favorite. Oh, it's Anne's favorite. Mm -hmm. And here, darling, this is a uh, pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate? Yeah. Oh, pomegranate up here. Wow, this is really healthy pomegranate. Oh. Here's an exotic fruit for you. It's called mame. We found it on the ground. I had a bite of it before. Let's see if it's as good. It's a mame sapote. Oh, mame sapote. Mmm. It's like a sweet potato. Mm. Now Anne's gonna have a bite. It's so good. It's just like a sweet potato, except a little sweeter. Mmm. Mame sapote. Got it. Very really good. <laughs> Filling and sweet and. Being this color, it's probably got a lot of really good vitamins in it for you. It is. Mm. Oh. Okay. Have you ever heard of allspice? Allspice comes from this tree. Never seen one of these before. I love the bark. See the leaves. This one, right here. Yeah, I don't smell anything. Oh, maybe it's up here. Let's see. A little bit of aroma. Here's some bamboo over here. It's 
kind of sparse. And you know the... But no fruit on bamboo and I'm hungry. But you eat root. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what you that's what you put in your mm -hmm. in your uh, Asian dishes. Right. That's good. I like that. Baby red guava. This is a red guava tree. Not ready to eat the fruit yet. But here are the little fruits. Still green. Right uh, come back a few months. Avocado tree. Yeah. Avocado americana. Lorosike, whatever. King Kong looking fucking man. Yeah, like King Kong looking one. <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, that's a jackfruit tree. Right here. Yeah. The yellow? Yes. Okay, this is a jackfruit tree. Ooh, look at those things. Man, look at this. Amazing, these two run trees. Look at that. I think this is the first jackfruit Look, tree. yeah, this is bigger. Come these here. These are all over look. Southeast Asia. Oh, look at this one. This one bigger. It's like laying out. Wow. That's the biggest jackfruit I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Anne's gonna try to cry. I don't know, darling. It might be uh, it might it might be rotted. I'm 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 not a fan of jackfruit, so. Chewy. But yeah, it is very sweet. Good? Mm. Oh, Anne likes it. Anne gives it an A+. Plus. This is a Guiana chestnut tree. Have you ever seen bigger chestnuts? <laughs> Lotus, very spiritual plant in Asia. Okay, so we're leaving the place now. Um, I think the consensus was the white sapote was the best fruit any of us have tasted. Bananas were great too. Uh, so we're now heading out. We're heading up to uh, Coral Gables. Just wanted to let you guys uh, know that there are two uh, downloads uh, below. If you want to download them, they'll help you uh, with your financing of traveling and they'll just put some extra money in your pocket. So I have two lists uh, you can download just right below us. So check that out. Keep traveling.